This is Jennifer reporting for WCC TV. The West Coast Conference has built a reputation as one of the elite women's soccer conferences in the country. After a strong opening weekend that saw WCC teams post a combined 8 1 record, the conference is once again positioning itself as one of the best in the nation. The University of Portland, which opened its season with a 3 0 win against Oregon, was picked as a WCC favorite in the preseason coaches' poll and is ranked number four in the nation. Picked second in the WCC preseason poll was the University of San Diego, followed by Santa Clara University and Pepperdine University. Rounding up this year's preseason poll is Loyola Marymount University coming in fifth, followed by Gonzaga University, the University of San Francisco, and St. Mary's College. The Pilots, who captured a WCC record 10 conference crowns, welcomed back nine starters and eight letter winners overall from last year's team to advance to the NCAA tournament quarterfinals for the fifth consecutive year. In addition to earning the top spot in the preseason polls, the Pilots also landed the most players on the WCC preseason all-conference team in juniors Kelsey Davis and Michelle Anhart, junior Sophie Schmidt, and sophomore Danielle Foxhoven. Our field reporter Will Blaris caught up with Portland head coach Garrett Smith to talk about the upcoming WCC season. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm here with the University of Portland's women's soccer coach, Garrett Smith. How's it going, coach? Awesome. Good, good to hear. We're all getting pretty excited about the upcoming season. I know you are. Uh, I've just got a few questions for you real quick, if you don't mind. Oh, no problem. Uh, first off, uh, is there any pressure being picked first in the preseason poll and having a high preseason ranking? Or does this fact actually motivate you and the team? Wow. Uh, you know what? More than anything, it's probably more flattering than anything. I mean, we step into the conference play like everybody else. We're all tied for last, um, and uh, you know that's the way we look at it. We've got high expectations here at Portland, and so we relish the, the chance to be ranked number one, because that's where we want to be. The WCC is traditionally one of the strongest conferences in the country, and this season doesn't seem to be any different at all. Uh, the conference posted an 8-1 and record to start off the season. Can you talk about the overall strength of the conference? Oh, man. Uh, just being on the West Coast, it's one of the best areas or regions of the country to pick from as far as the talent coming up through the youth organizations. And I think that bodes well for the WCC and how strong we are, just because the level of player coming out as a youth player is a, is a lot higher. And uh, that's what we appreciate as far as recruiting here on the West Coast. And I think if you look at all the teams in the conference, they're primarily West Coast-based kids. And I think it just goes to show how strong our conference is. In addition to that, you guys had several key players last season miss the postseason due to national team duties. Uh, going into this season, how much does it mean to know that you'll have your full complement of players for the entire season, hopefully? Yeah, it's a good one for that one. Uh, no, it's, to have all the pilots at home is, is, is exactly what we want, and it comes around every once in a while. I think it's every four years where we're guaranteed with no national team commitments or uh, you know, callaways. It's, uh, it's something special this year for us to have everybody here uh, throughout the entire preseason, to have everybody gelling together and looking forward to a great season together and, and just growing as a team finally. Last year's conference title came down to the final weekend between you guys and San Diego. Can you talk about the Toreros and the job that Ada Greenwood has done? You know, I think Ada's kind of grown up uh, as I have, uh, you know, as an assistant coach, being with the program for a long time, getting kind of his feet wet and understanding what his program's about, and then stepping into the head job, I think helps out a lot with the background that both of us have. And I think that just is a testament to what Ada's done down there as far as raising the, the program that he has down there. And obviously, San Diego's always been a big piece of the WCC, and I think he's just taken it down to a new level. So uh, as long as they're on the last game of our schedule, I know it's going to come down to a big playoff implication and WCC standings implication. And uh, um, what better way to end the season? Which team in the conference do you think is going to be a surprise? It's going to surprise the rest of the conference this season. Wow. Um, you know what? We, we actually take every game and look at it as, you know, like we're playing the defending champions. And, uh, you know, it's, it's tough to, to overlook anybody in this conference. And so I hope, hopefully there is no surprises, um, you know, but we try to take every game and take that surprise element out. Um, you know, whether you're playing who finished last in the conference last year or who finished first, it really doesn't matter to us. So hopefully we're just treating everybody as they should be respected as a, as a tough competitor. And it just goes to vote with your other question, you know, the top conference in, in the country, hopefully. And uh, 
I think I think everybody will be well represented this year, and uh, hopefully there are no surprises out there. <laughs> that's good to hear. All right, well, that's all I got for you today, Coach. Uh, thanks for sitting down with us today, and uh, we hope you guys have a very good season. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks. All right, you have a good one. Back to you, Jennifer. Thanks, Will. So far this season, WCC teams have outscored their opponents an astonishing 21 to 3. Conference play officially begins October 10th as the Pilots host Northwest rival Gonzaga. For more information on WCC women's soccer, log on to WCCSports.com. Reporting for WCC TV, I'm Jennifer.